Hey, I've got a question for you. Do you want to live forever? We all do, right? Throughout history, men have sought out ways to achieve internal life. From the Fountain of Youth, to the Holy Grail, to alchemists struggling to create the legendary Philosopher's Stone. It seems every culture around the world has its own tales and legends of ways to beat death. But maybe the answer to everlasting life does not lie on land. Maybe everyone should have been looking to the sea. In the seaside town of Shirahama in Japan, one man thinks he knows what holds the key to everlasting life, the jellyfish. Shen Kubata is a professor at Kyoto University's Seto Marine Biological Laboratory. He began studying these sea creatures in 1979, but there is only one type with which he's particularly interested in, the scarlet jellyfish. Kubata says that these jellyfish don't die. Instead, they rejuvenate, kind of like Wolverine from the X-Men. He adds that they are one of three jellyfish species in Japan that are considered immortal. Okay, it's less immortality and more regeneration, but Kubata believes that these tiny marine animals could hold the secret to perpetual life. Okay, here's how it works. When an adult scarlet jellyfish, or medusa, is injured, it goes to the bottom of the ocean floor. From there, it morphs back into its infant state, known as a polyp. Then the polyp becomes a brand new medusa, allowing the jellyfish to move between an adult and infant state in about two months. So far, Kubata has succeeded in making one jellyfish rejuvenate an incredible 12 times in the lab. But of course, there's still so many unanswered questions. But Kubata says that there should be a key to rejuvenation in the system of the scarlet jellyfish. That key could also be applied to human beings because genetically, jellyfish and humans are not so different. Is that why that guy in the X-Men movie turned into a jellyfish sort of mutant? It's kind of crazy to think about like as you're growing older and all you got to do is Benjamin button yourself back into like a infant and then start again. It's kind of awkward though, right? Like say you have kids and then you have grandkids and then you rejuvenate back to being a baby and then someone, maybe your kids or your grandkids will have to like take care of you, right? So they have to change your diapers and like feed you until you're able to take care of yourself. All right, here's why I think this would never happen. I don't believe human beings were ever meant to achieve internal life. I mean, can you imagine a world where everybody lives forever? Obviously, you got the crime, so some people will be eliminated that way, but nobody dies of aging. It just kind of feels like we're messing with the whole uh, natural balance of things. Not to get all Lion King on you guys, but it feels like we're messing with the whole circle of life. Anyway, that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this story. Do you think there is a formula for eternal life somewhere? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks for watching.